Hey everyone, Kevin here. And what I'm going to do in this video is show you my 24 GPU mining rig, 24 graphics cards. You could, I guess you could call it 26 actually because I've got two in my main PC, but I'm mainly focusing on this in this video. So this has got 24 graphics cards, 24 1060 gigabyte graphics cards, um, and they're all six gigabytes. So if I just kind of jump over to here, you'll see the ones that I've got. I've got the Palette, GeForce GTX 1060, dual fan, and the ones, where are they? I can't even see the boxes. The Asus Strix 1080 Ti's, I've got two of those in my main PC. So you can see my main PC over there. This is mining as well. So I don't want to talk too much. I mean, I don't really want to talk about money in this video, mainly because I'm still messing about with things. I'll, I'll do another video where I'll you know, talk about all that kind of thing. But you know, I've been messing around and I've been using nice hash and I've been using Awesome Miner with Mining Pool, then I've been using Claymore with Nano Pool, and then I've been looking at Simple OS. I've been looking at a lot of different things, so at this point I'm really jumping around what I'm doing and I haven't really settled on what's the best setup. I'm getting there and I'm learning a lot about it. I've threw myself in the deep end. So as far as building this rig goes, um, it was, I, I, I kind of threw myself in the deep end because I built all three rigs at the same time within a, a day or so I, I built them all. Now, there's downsides to that because you're, you've got an avalanche of work and it's hard to you know, focus on what you want to do. I was installing Windows there and then I was building Rig 2 and then I was trying to do something with Rig 3 and I was jumping around. What I would say though is, you know, most people I think would, for their first mining rig, they would build one computer, build one mining rig. What I would say though is, I encountered different problems in each mining rig. So, for example, the mining rig, I've, I've labeled these mining rig, mining rig 1, 2 and 3. And as you can see, I've got space for maybe a fourth or possibly even a fifth. Now, when I built mining rig 1, um, I only, sh I only I connected all 8 GPUs and it was only showing 4. And, you know, I spent a long time trying to figure that out. And then I went to rig 2 and that showed 7 right away. Still couldn't work out why I couldn't get 8. I went to the, the last rig here, rig 3, and that showed 8 right away, right off the bat. Now, that in a kind of backwards kind of way was really good because then I could compare what was going on. For example, when I, when I set up Rig 3, it wouldn't even start, it, you know, it wouldn't even post. Eventually, I found it was the RAM. I took the RAM out, I swapped it with the bottom one, and the top one worked with the same, you know, it worked with the RAM, and then the bottom one worked with the RAM, so I don't know what was going on there. But um, basically, the problem that I had with the bottom rig when I was setting it up was the... Um, Basically, the power connectors. You can see the power connectors down here coming from the Erka 1000T2 uh, titanium, so it's 96% efficiency. And it basically looked like that, but when I was moving things around, the cables would come out ever so slightly, enough so that it wasn't sending powered, uh, power to a graphics card. And, you know, looking at it, you couldn't see that. I'd tested it before and I thought they were plugged in. But when I saw the same problem in one of the other rigs, I realised what it was. So... I'll go over some, I talked about money and the fact I'll talk about this in another video. Uh, other question that'll probably come up is noise. You know, I've got 24 graphics cards here and I've got two here. Now, this might surprise a lot of you, but the two graphics cards in my main PC here, they're much noisier than all of those put together. I was really surprised at that as well. I was really um, pleased about that. The fact is these are, you know, they're not as powerful a graphics card, but there's 24 of them three rigs of eight, but the fans, you know, they're sitting about 50%. Um, I've, I set the power right now at 80%, I was trying 70%, I was messing about with different values. But noise-wise, you know, they're not that bad. A lot of people say that, oh, you're not, your room's gonna be too noisy. This is what's causing the noise, this. Which, granted, I can reduce, you know, the power on this and reduce the fan speed as well. But at the current settings for my 1080 Ti's, the 1080 Ti's are louder than these. So where this does, you know, produce a problem, I guess, or a concern is heat. You know, that produces a lot of heat. 24 of these produces a lot of heat. Now, it hasn't been too much of an issue. You can see here, I've got the window open here. Uh, it's Scotland, it's one degree, zero degrees, and we're going to get snowed in in a few days. Because it's been so cold, you know, it has been warmer in this room compared to the rest of the house, but it's actually been beneficial. I'll just leave the window open and I can cool that. Now, clearly, 
that isn't a long-term solution. That is just something that I'm quite lucky that I'm doing this in winter. But what I want to do is get a fan. I was going to just go out and buy one, but I thought I'll wait. I'll try and find one that doesn't, you know, that isn't too uh, loud. Now a lot of people will use PC case fans and things like that. But what I'd like to do is maybe get maybe a fan that goes like here and blows to the whole rigs, and it, and it kind of pushes it towards the window, or maybe something from above that goes down the way. I'm not sure. This is something I need to tackle. Um, so if I just show you how I've got it set up just now, you see I've got the keyboard. I've got my old monitor which I'm using. And, you know, when I'm not here, I basically just turn this off. So when I'm not actually, you know, configuring anything, when I'm not changing anything, I just switch it off and then I turn it back on when I want to use it. I've got one mouse, I've got one keyboard. I've, did cable, I've tidied up the cables on my main rig as well because I realised a lot of it, you can see more, that's kind of a little bit tidier than it was before. This is an absolute nightmare with cables. The only thing I've really tidied up is the HDMI cables and even at that. But um, what I've got is I've set it up rig 1, rig 2, rig 3 and when you log in to the computer it will say that rig 1, rig, rig 2, rig 3 instead of username Kevin and all three that makes no sense you can see I've got an HDMI switch here click it that's rig 1 rig 2 and back to rig 3 I've actually, you know, I've, I've got another one of these I use this with my camera so uh, I use that with the, the game caption, the, the video caption, all that, so I knew what I wanted. Granted, if I go for five or six, you know, uh, uh, rigs here, I would maybe have to get something different, but right now, this works great. I've only got one mouse and keyboard, and it kind of works out okay. What I do is, when I, when I change to a particular rig, see that, like, the mouse and keyboard right now is actually attached to rig two. So, I'm moving this around, but there's nothing happening on the screen, because this is rig three. I would have to... Switch to rig two, and then the mouse is moving around. So that's how it's set up. Now, as far as setting everything up uh, goes from a you know a Windows point of view, a software point of view, I've disabled Windows updates. I've put the power on so the monitor and uh, the power doesn't shut shut down. You have you have to change a lot of things in the BIOS, and this is the thing, guys. If you are going to be doing this, then you do need to spend some time in the BIOS. But thankfully, there's lots of videos online. They say change it to this, change it to that. Once I did it, you know, by the, the time I got to the third rig, I was just getting into BIOS and doing it myself. I knew exactly all the options I have to change. You know, when I build another um, another rig in the future, I'll know exactly, like, seconds I'll go in and I'll change this to this. You know, there's just certain things you need to change, like, generation 3 to 2, you need to, there's certain that you can turn, disable the audio, just lots of little things that you need to get it to work correct, um, correctly, if I can talk. So, this is the rig. So essentially, majority I have been messing around with it a lot, but for the most part, I just let it run. I just let it run and I let it do its own thing. Um, I'm leaning towards Awesome Miner because you pay like ten dollars a month and you can re remotely manage all the rigs of all your computers and you can manage everything. So long term, that could be probably the easiest way for me to go down. So I'll just I'll go in a little bit closer and. As I said, most of the noise is actually coming from my main PC rather than here. But you can see I've just hung up all the GPUs using cable ties. Um, if I'll go to the top, it'll maybe let you see it a little bit better. I've tried to space them out. This, this is an Amazon basic shelf. It's 55 pounds, five shelves, about five foot or so, I think, 180 centimeters, or something like that. And it's got wheels, so you know, from an expandability point of view, it's pretty good. You can wheel it around. You could buy another uh, rig quite easily. And yeah, I reckon I could put another two in there if possible you know if necessary um, but I've just put used cable ties the reason being if you're going to look for a, a mining rig box they tend to cost you know like £100, £150 that kind of thing whereas 500 of those was like £4 so for a temporary solution I've just hung the, the graphics cards up as if I was hanging my washing out outside it's messy, there's cables going everywhere and it's not what I want to have long term but for just now you know just for setting things up just now um it's actually bizarrely perfect you know it, it does look a little bit crazy with all the wires going everywhere but it, it, it's not too bad it's just because of the thick power cables so the rig all the rigs are the same they're all they've all got the same um parts more or less um apart from those two have got corsair ram that one's got ballistic uh two of them have got western digital ssds but because you know delivery times i got 
another one that was like Devo or something, it's in that one. But apart from that, all the parts are identical. So um, I'll just kind of walk through. I've got a surge protector here. I put the other rig, one of the other rigs down that one, so it's going from the other wall outlet just to kind of split the power up. Um, I've got the Evka Supernova 1000 T2. I've got one in, in my main PC, so total I've got four of them running in this room. Um, really thick cables, everything's good. I've got a Pentium Celeron G440. This is one of the preferred ones. Most people use Celerons because you don't need a fast CPU. It's quite low in wattage and it's like £45 to buy. I've got the Asus Z270A, uh, which is a very popular motherboard. Um, and you can see them up there. Those are the ones. I've got three Asus Z270A. You can see my Asus Strix up there, all the palette graphics cards that I've got, all the 1060s. And you can see I've actually got a spare one. I ordered another one because, um, well, basically because of delivery times. I thought, okay, I'll, I'll order another one and this will be the start of my fourth build. Now, the reason, in fact, if I show you this here, the reason many people go for this one is because it's got, you can actually put three graphics cards in there. You could put a, a treble slot, a dual slot, and maybe another dual slot there. So the three GPUs, but it's got four X1 slots. And what you can do is use risers, which is what they are. And here's what's happening. If you see here, in all the slots you've got risers. It's just a little X1 um, little connector. Goes to a USB and it connects to here. And this, because you're not sending a lot of you know data, you, there's doing the calculation and then just sending back a figure. You don't need to the 16 to X16 speed. So all of them have got connectors. You'll see them all at the bottom. They've all got connectors all the way, every single one. And that allows me to put, instead of three, I've got eight, eight, and eight. Well, in saying that, it would be seven, seven, and seven, but I've got those M2 adapters to put another one. So there's an M2 for a hard drive at the back. This one is an M2 to PCI Express adapter, and that allows this one, which is that one. Uh, and I try to kind of organize them all the same way. So I've got that's 8765432.1. I've got 8765432.1. Tried to do it that way just so it's a little bit easier to figure out what's going on. But there's been a few times where the cables went, might have been a little bit mixed up and I've just plugged the cable in directly. And if the monitor wasn't showing, then I realized that's where the error code 43 was coming from and I needed to check the power. So it, it does look kind of messy, but it's 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 actually not too bad. I think I've done the right thing with the switcher, the, the monitor. I pull my chair over when I'm working here. I just kind of wheel it over and I just sit down and I, and I tweak things. As I said, I have been messing about with things and I've set it up so it doesn't switch off. If it does switch off, you know, for updates and anything like that, what I do is try and troubleshoot uh, and see what's going on. Try and get to the bottom of what's happening. So, um, as far as money goes, God, I don't know. I mean, I spent about six grand on the graphics cards alone for this. Um, so you're probably talking about eight and a half grand or something I've spent. Might take four months to get it all back. Maybe longer. I, I think it's hard to tell at this point because um, the rates are going up and down. You know, going by that just now, it would be three and a half, four months. But the rates are going to go up and down and it could go down in two months or so. But I reckon within the first month and a half, if you consider the fact that I can sell some of these graphics cards etc then you know i think i'll be breaking even in two or three months so i don't regret getting these i've learned a lot and um, now if any of you guys are interested in uh, in doing this and i know some of you are because you're asking questions about it just post a comment and you know just ask a question about it there's bound to be things that i've missed out in this video that i don't even think is something that you know you know that you don't know what something that isn't a problem to me might be a problem to you that's what i'm trying to say um <laughs> but you know there's probably some things i haven't covered here and you might be thinking how do they do this how do they do that so if i haven't covered it i'll reply in the comment area or i'll you know do another video of it but by and large if you have a basic understanding of how to build a pc then you'll be fine with all of this if you've never built a pc before then you'll still be fine but you will obviously you know there's a steeper learning curve you do need to uh, build your own pc essentially here so you need to learn that and learn the additional steps of building a mining rig but I don't I don't think it's difficult I don't think anyone will find it difficult so 
yeah, this is that. Um, if I take a step back, you'll see this is where I'll be working. This is where I record videos. Where I, you know, I'll, I'll sometimes write articles downstairs. Sometimes I'll write them here. I'll do videos here with you guys. I'll do live streams. And as I said, the the PC here, the one, the main main PC, those two 1080 Ti's are actually louder than all of those put together. But there is a lot of heat coming out of these. But that is because of the current settings. I have set the fans at 100% and it really does cool the room. It really, really does cool the room. But from a power point of view, from a practicality point of view, it just makes more sense to get one fan to, you know, rather than running these fans at 100% creating more noise, it just makes more sense to just buy a cheap fan or, you know, a quiet fan and just send a lot of cool air towards there. That'll give me, that'll allow me, you know, to push it a little bit more. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, this has been my 24 GPU rig, or 26 if you count my main PC, but I would say this is 24 GPUs, 8 GPUs per rig, this is my first ever build, uh, I was mining for a couple of weeks on my main PC just to you know get a feel for how it all works from the software side, and once I got an understanding of that I just wanted to, to dive right in, my friend Mark has did the same, he's got I think he's got a rig of seven, two rigs of seven 1060s, and then he's got one rig of four 1070 Ti's and three 1080 Ti's. Um, and that's the thing. Now, that rig that he's talking about, the, the rig that my friend Matt's got, that's got four 1070 Ti's and three 1080 Ti's, he actually needs two power supplies that he needs to connect together. One of the things that I liked about this is, you know, these are, when these run at 80%, they're you know, it's about, I need to work out, but say about 750 watts. So this is a thousand watt power supply, but because I'm running my 80%, I'm probably only using about 800 watts. Uh, and it does save you a little bit of money, you know, buying a second power supply or, you know, that kind of thing, it does add on more cost. And I did look at buying 1080 Ti's, I did look at buying other graphics cards, but for the money, for the return and things like that, at this time anyway, the 1060 seemed like the smart buy, seemed like the, the one that would break even the quickest. So that's why I opted for so many 1060s. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and there it is again. 24 GPUs making me money and heating my house. So as I said guys, I will do another video. I will you know, discuss, discuss the software that I'm using. I'll talk more about all this kind of thing in the future. Um, and I'll you know, talk about the money side of things and all that kind of thing because you shouldn't jump into this without doing your research. You really do need to do your research. When I did the video the other day and I was you know, just showing people you know, that I'd bought all the equipment and all the boxes, there was lots of people put you know, positive comments and there was a few people very, very negative saying, you're going to lose all your money, you're going to lose all your money. And you know, that doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So it looks like I am going to make very good money. As I said, I did my homework with all this. I did a lot of research. And anyone who's going to do this, do your research, do your homework, ask questions, ask me questions, ask, there's lots of YouTubers out there, ask them questions as well. Don't go into this blind, don't go and spend money blind, find out what you don't know before you buy the equipment, because you might find out, you know, you might buy the right, wrong thing. You know, you, a lot of people who are just starting out, they buy the wrong power supply, or they buy the wrong motherboard, or they buy the wrong CPU, they, you know, they spend too much money on a CPU, or they, they don't buy it powerful enough PSU and you need to get all these things right before you order so do your homework I hope you've enjoyed the video guys so um, do your homework ask me a question if you're unsure about it all and if you've got anything that you want me to cover in the next video please do let me know so 24 GPUs guys 26 kinda thanks for watching guys and I'll speak to you all very soon take care